Alright everybody, so today you're looking at a table, and on that table there are all of my Gentex alarms. Um, I just have those out for reference today because if we go below, we have a whole box of more Gentex alarms. And so, basically what I'm going to be doing today is going through each one of these alarms in this box and give a few features and a few brief facts about each alarm and move on to the next alarm. Uh, so basically I'm just going to talk about um, a little bit about every one of these alarms. Um, I also did go to ADI 2016 in Louisville, Kentucky this year and Gentex was there so, and I learned a lot about uh, some of these products here so you also might learn one or two things. So let's get started. All right, so which one should we pick first? So I think today we're gonna start off with uh, the Gentex Corporation Commander 4 Series Alarm. Um, it looks like the part number on this is uh, 904-1209-002, and the model number is GCC24CR. And I guess that CR at the end stands for ceiling mount. Okay, so there it is. Um, we're, here's kind of the box. Gentex. Um, fun fact about the Gentex boxes is um, you'll notice go down there almost every one of them is yellow and that is actually because uh, Gentex um, sells through ADI and ADI's color is yellow. So um, when ADI gets their Gentex's products, they'll know it's their products because the color, color of ADI is yellow and the box is yellow, which is kind of cool. So, put the camera up a bit. Let's kind of open up the box here. So there it is. Kind of right there focus the camera. So when you open it up, focus the camera once again, you get um, mounting screws and one thing I like about Gentex is they give you so many screw options. I think that's pretty cool. And we'll talk about this piece right up there a little later. Instruction manual. And one thing I like about the Gentex instruction manuals is it is packed and packed with information. I think it's pretty cool. Um, right here you get this metal mounting bracket. Now one thing I like about Gentex's mounting brackets is they're all metal and plastic so they won't break if you tighten the uh, if, if you tighten the screws really tight. So that's pretty cool. Now right there is the alarm. And there's the box. So there is the alarm. Um, so this is a ceiling mount alarm, so you'll notice the fire lettering, lettering is a little different. Um, it's meant to be kind of like on a ceiling like this, so if you were looking up, no matter what angle you were looking at, you could still read the word fire. So that's pretty cool. And also, um, you might notice my older version Commander 4 right over here. You might notice a little something different about it. Let me focus the camera. So you might notice Gentex did a little something different. And that is they added French lettering up at the top for do not paint right there. You see? So if you uh, get a newer Gentex alarm, and it's like this on most alarms, it's going to have French let lettering now. Um, it's backwards, but as you can see, there's do not paint, and then below it, there's French lettering. You can see on the older version right here, it does not have it. So that's pretty cool. So now that one of these is out of the way, um, you're, you're going to kind of get the swing of the video here. And it's going to be probably a little longer video, but that's alright. So which one should we pick next? Um, let's pick this one. So let's see here. This is a Gentex... Look at the model. Gentex GN-503 120 volts AC slash 9 volt battery. It's white and it's a smoke alarm 
with terminal three and four tones. Um, or temporal three and four tones. And I'll explain what that means in a minute. So let's bring the camera up here and kind of unbox it. And again, yellow box. Oh, and there's the picture of the smoke alarm on there. Focus the camera. There we go. So you open it up here. Here's the inside of it. So right there, you have an instruction manual. Again, packed with information. And you get a 9 volt battery because this is a home smoke alarm. You get your uh, wiring, your wire terminals to hook up the smoke alarm. This is what you would use to hook it up. And uh, you just it, right there, um, it's really cool. It kind of shows you where smoke alarms are supposed to go in carbon monoxide alarms. And I think that's kind of a neat way. And if you just kind of pull on this tab, this comes down to the unit itself. Which we'll show you in a bit. And it comes with some warning stickers, so you can stick those somewhere to remind you of the warnings. There's nothing else left in the box. So let's look here. So, right there's the smoke alarm. It's kind of protected in this blue cover here. And there it is. You can see it is a smoke and CO alarm. And I think I have another one of these, and I did a review on it a little earlier. Um, and there's its back. There's test button. But it can do smoke and CO. So, um, what the temporal 3 and 4 um, meant about it was suppose... Um, so suppose... Okay, so, so Gentex has another one of these, which uh, it, there's in the box, and it's um, smoke only. Okay? And this one is smoke and CO only. So what happens if you have the smoke and CO in your basement and the smoke alarm in your bedroom? Now with now with pretty much all companies, when uh, there's a smoke and CO alarm, only that alarm will sell sound. Gosh, my words are kind of getting mixed up today. <laughs> but only that alarm will sound. With this, if this alarm sounds, no matter what, if it's a smoke or fire alarm or smoke detector or whatever, then they're all going to sound and they're all going to do temporal four, which is the carbon monoxide alarm. So that's pretty cool. So let's let's grab another alarm here. Uh, which one should we pick now? Let's pick this one. Um, so the white box this time. And let's look at what it is. It is a 120 volt AC photoelectric smoke alarm with piezo. It's white and yeah. So let's kind of unbox it up there. So to open it up, you just pull on the tab. This is your first sighting when you get it open. Again, Gentex manual, lots of stuff packed with information. Got um, terminals, battery because it's a smoke alarm, another smoke alarm. And pull on this. And you can see it's very similar to the last one I just did. Except for there's only one thing. This is only a smoke alarm. See, that one, this one is smoke and CO, and this one is only smoke. Now, what I was trying to say is, if you had this only smoke detector in your bedroom, and this carbon monoxide and smoke detector in your basement, if this detected carbon monoxide, this alarm would sound code 4, in which is the carbon monoxide tone. So... Everything in your house is going to be sounding, letting you know, not just one unit. So that's pretty cool. So let's pick another box here to look at. Um, I'm thinking about this one. Uh, as we can see right here, it is a speaker strobe. Let's look at our models here. So the model is SSPK24CLPW. It's a ceiling speaker with selectable 24 volt DC strobe, so it's multi-candela. 
Um, it runs on 24 volts DC. It's sealing and it's white. And it's also UL and ULC listed and all that. So let's kind of unbox this. Now I honestly think this looks really cool, the first side of it. You just only kind of see the strobe. But once you kind of pop this little yellow cover off, you see it is the full you see the full alarm. We'll take a look at the alarm a little later. You get this another little uh, cover cardboard protector thing. And you get an instruction manual. Mounting screws, and even more mounting screws. Nothing else left in the yellow box. So taking a look at this alarm, you'll see it's a little different, and that's because it is a ceiling mount speaker strobe. It's kind of like the Gentex Commander 4, where it's ceiling mount, but this is a speaker strobe, meaning instead of a loud tone, it would come on and talk to you. Um, saying that there's a fire. So it's meant to be on the ceiling like this so you can see the fire lab labeling um, no matter how you look at it. There's the strobe. It's multi candela. Um, you can see right now it's set on 15. And candela is like the brightness setting of the strobe in case you didn't know. Here's the back of it. Here's the model and all. Um, here's the volume for the speaker. And a little tag there. Um, you can stick your screwdriver in right there. Kind of this little hole right here. And that is where you can change your candela setting. So yeah, pretty cool speaker strobe. So we were just on the topic of speaker strobes we might as well unbox another speaker strobe. So we're going to pick this one right here, and you'll find it is very similar except for a couple changes. So here's the model, SSPK24WLPR, um, 24 volts DC. It's wall. It's wall mount instead of ceiling mount this time. You can see it's red. The lens is clear, and it's UL and UCL listed and all that. Whoa, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> And that's why you have packaging. Anyways, so let's unbox the alarm. Again, I absolutely love how Gentex does it. When you first unbox the alarm, you only see the strobe. I think that's pretty cool. Taking up kind of yellow flap here, and there is the alarm. Look in that second, second yellow flap. Go down, you get some more mounting screws, and a instruction manual. Again, full of information. So this is the alarm compared to the other one. Um, this one is obviously red and this one's white. And this is basically, this alarm right here is basically the same alarm as this one, except for it's red and it's the wall mount version. See if this were on a wall, you could still see fire the fire lettering from both sides. Um, right there, it's multi candela. You can, candela, you can change the candela the same way as the old one, and it's a speaker. You can see they both have similar backs. And yeah, I actually have another Gentex speaker strobe over here, but it is um, linear and alert. It has the alert strobe, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so there's the other speaker strobe. So you can see there's only a couple, well, a little more than a couple boxes left here. But let's take this one next. So looking at the model and all, um, you can see it's a, another 120 volt AC slash 9 volt DC full electric smoke alarm with piezo, and it's 177 candela strobe, so You'll know it has a strobe on there. Uh, the model is 7139CS-W, 177 candela, once again, 120 volts AC, once again, and it's wall mount. So let's open this up here. 
Set the box down, focus the camera. Here we go. Get that out of there. There is the alarm. Just kind of pull it out. Here's this kind of pad. We'll explain that later. Instruction manual, again, full of information. And uh, wire terminals. Or not really terminals, but uh, hookups. And empty box. This is the alarm. Taking off the little cover. This is the alarm. So this is a smoke alarm. This is a smoke alarm, not a fire alarm. And it's meant for hearing impaired. So basically you can install this in your house and um, if you cannot hear, you can see the strobe. So if this were to go and suppose you're walking down the hallway and see the strobe flashing, then you would know that the alarm is sounding because uh, you can't hear. Uh, there's test one and test two down there. Turn those knobs to test it. Um, here's the back. You get a 9 volt battery included. It's in there right now. Again, metal metal mounting bracket. So this is actually uh, meant to kind of, um, when you're mounting it on the wall, to uh, kind of put on the alarm. So, see? So it has padding. And so when the alarm goes off, it doesn't vibrate your wall. Um, or something like that. And the strobe is 177. You can see down there. And yeah. Pretty cool, very cool alarm, I would say. So let's pick our next box here. We'll pick the smallest box. Uh, check out the models and everything. It looks like uh, it's a remote audible signal appliance, so this is a fire alarm. The model is GX93-R, 12 or 20 volts, um, or 24 volts for hooking it up. It's red, and you all listed in all that. So let's kind of unbox this here. Focus the camera and see what's inside. So it's just a neat little thing um, that Gentex made. Pull it out, empty box. Um, and there you get two screws, and they're actually red um, because the device is red. So what this basically is is a remote horn. And it actually sounds like a smoke alarm system, and this is meant to be hooking up, hooked up to the fire alarm system. And like I said, this sounds just like a smoke alarm. And you'll commonly see these in hotels and everywhere. Like, pretty much every hotel room will have one of these. Um, it might not be the Gentex brand, but I see Gentex, these Gentex things in hotels all the time. But basically, in a hotel room where a horn strobe might not be needed, um, but you still need audible signal, um, these are just the great simplest solution. Alright, so going down, or I guess you already are down, um, we're going to save this one for last. And we're going to go ahead and pick this one. Uh, let's take a look at the model here. You can see it is um, a low frequency horn um, with terminal three and four tones. So basically, just like the smoke alarm here, um, you can hook it up to do temporal four and temporal three. So the carbon monoxide tone and the fire alarm tone. And it's white. So let's unbox this here. So that is the alarm right there. Um, there's the instruction manual. Um, about the instruction manual, I haven't really said this lately, but um, Gentex also did something recent. Um, their instruction manuals, um, they also have a version of them in French too. You can see that's all in French. So that's pretty cool. If you can only read French, then you can read it this instruction manual. <laughs> and also another thing, they have made um, 
the do not paint label French. This must be an older version, but I think I already said it with the Commander 4 earlier, but just to restate it. You get your screws. And again, I said this earlier, I will go over this piece um, in the next product. So you get all your screw options. Now, what is a low frequency sounder? That's I that's a big question. So studies, many studies have shown that um a low frequency tone instead of a high pitched tone will wake people up faster. So there's actually a new code out in several states where every new hotel has to have one of these horns um, in the room to wake people up. So this is Gentech Solution. Um, it comes in red and white. They are making a low frequency sounder strobe, so it has a strobe on it pretty soon. It will be out pretty soon. It comes in red or white. I have my red version right here. Um, yeah, I did a review on this one. Um, you should go check it out. But yeah, so pretty cool. Alright, we can just see there's one last final little package down there. And this is probably the most common Gentex alarm. And let's take a look at it. So you can see there. And this is a Gentex Commander 3. Um, GEC-3- or GEC-3-24WR. It's a horn strobe. This is their horn strobe. Um, these are extremely common alarms and all that. So go ahead and unbox this. Let me just make sure the camera's focused. Yep. So this is your sight when you first pull it out. You can go ahead and pull out the alarm. You get your mounting screws. You get your alarm. It's kind of cover bracket, bracket right there. Nothing else left in the box. But uh, you get your mounting bracket, um, your instruction manual, uh, screws, and alarm. So, this little piece, I keep on saying I will talk about it, and now I am talking about it. So, when you have to paint around, okay, so suppose you've already installed the alarm and you have to paint around it. If you paint on it, um, you can see right there, it says do not paint. So if you paint it, you got to replace it. So what Gentex has invented is this. You can take the alarm off. And But wait a minute, if you take the alarm off, the panel will go into trouble. So if you take the alarm off and plug this little guy in right here, that will basically fake that the alarm is up on the wall. And the panel will think that there's an alarm there. Alrighty, everybody. Well, that was kind of a long video. Um, I normally don't like making long videos, but, you know, I think this video was worth it. I definitely thank you. Um, thank you uh, if you've watched all the way through this video. And my voice is almost pretty much dead now. <laughs> um... But yeah, I hope you learned a lot about these Gentex devices. And um, yeah, Gentex is a really cool and awesome company. Um, I might, I still have to think about it, but I might be getting another uh, box of Gentex alarms pretty soon. I might be. And if I do, I will definitely make a part two to this video. So stay tuned for that if it's happening. And yeah. So thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.